the one, the only, Ben Cio. Good afternoon and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube, Ian Tolina. Today we're doing Simon Reish Chavtet 229 in Orachayim. Uh, there's two halachas. The second halacha talks about a bracha that you make once every 28 years. Um, I believe it was made in 2009. Um, it's when you see the earth is exactly the place where it started. Basically at this time of creation, the earth started at that place vis-a-vis -vis the sun. Heliocentric, century is, being heliocentric, believing in heliocentrism, I forgot, I don't know the, pronoun the right way to pronounce the word. Being, there's two ways of viewing the world. The old view was that um, that the earth was the center of the world. Um, and then the new view that was asserted by Copernicus and Galileo, heliocentric view, that really the earth orbits the sun. So once every 28 years it comes to the exact place where the earth started orbiting around the sun. And you make a bracha, or bracha, you make osem separations. Now if you look in and the Mishnah Bura, he says you're supposed to make this bracha as early as possible. It's supposed to be on a Wednesday morning, as early as possible. On Wednesday morning, I remember. I remember this actually because um, I remember for months in advance they were talking about this bracha. It's a unique bracha you can make once every 28 years. And I remember I was in West Hempstead at that point with my parents, and there was a lot of people um, who specifically davenates. They wanted, even though they normally didn't davenates, they wanted to davenates on this morning because according to Mishra Bura, he's supposed to say it early in the morning. The reason I believe is because the reason Makdim and Lamitza is a mitzvah to say this bracha. So you do it as early as possible. I remember having this this dialogue in my mind, a tough decision whether I should drive all the way to Far Rockaway where they had a Nate's minion, because in West Ham so they didn't have a Nate's minion, or just go to my shul where they had an early minion. I think it was like a seven o'clock minion. Um, I decided against uh, going to the Nate's minion in Far Rockaway. Um, which was the right decision. I don't think, you know, I wasn't familiar with, you know, the reason it had to be so early in the morning. It's only an idea of Zrizim Makdim on the mitzvahs, which is the same idea by bris milah. No one makes sure to do a bris milah at Nate's. You know, when you have to do a bris milah, you do it at Nate's. And people don't, don't care about it. Some people have to go to work, so they do it earlier, but no one specifically does it at Nate's. And here also, well, I don't know, bris milah is, is a chiv del right? So this bracha, it's not clear that, right, it says, this is like all these brachas. Like if you happen to see thunder and lightning, you make a bracha. If you happen to see once every 28 years the, the, the sun, so make the bracha. Not that you have to go ahead and plan it and davenates and go looking for the sun. All these brachos that you make are when you see things. You don't have to go. It's like the bracha I was talking about before. We talked about earlier this week. Um, once a year when the fruit trees start to bud flowers, you go say a special bracha. People are have places. I remember in Far Rockaway, in uh, Kensington. I was in Torah Vadas. They they had places um, with people with fruit trees. They would mark them off. Everyone would go say the bracha. They're not looking to make the bracha, but that's not the point of the Torah. Whereas if you see these, happen to see these things, don't go out of your way. Make your life crazy for these things. That's very clear. And so I would make myself crazy to go davenate. They were and months in advance. They're planning this great bracha once every twenty years. It's special, fine, but it's the same bracha. Most of the vibrations that you make when you see lightning or hear thunder, it's the same bracha. So it, it really bothered me. I remember even then, it bothered me. The whole buildup, there were pamphlets going out about this new great mitzvah you're going to do, and all this chusim, and people were talking about, if you dominate it, you know, you, you'll find your shidduch or something like that. You know, they make up all these crazy things, all these zagulas nowadays. But it's, it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. And they even made it here on the Mishra Guru. There's a whole seder. You start saying Tehillim beforehand. You start saying some of the of the piyutim you say on Shabbos. You say, Kel Adon, Chayos HaKodesh, V'achak Mizmar Shemayim Sachem Kod Kel, V'achak Aleinu V'Kadosh. I mean, what, what's going on over here? Why why is buildup? Because it happens once every 28 years. This is, I see the problem uh, with a lot of people is that nowadays, thank God, we're blessed with a lot of financial wealth, the world in general, and a lot of, specifically the Jewish world. And because things are so easy to get a lulu of an estro, everyone wants the nice lulu of an estro. Matzah, everyone wants the most mohudr matzah. It used to be in Europe, it was so hard to get your hand on an estro, you didn't care how many blet luck it had. But nowadays we have, you know, thank God we have so much freedom. But that's not the point of the Torah. The Torah doesn't say, oh, because now you have a lot of extra money and a lot of extra time, go look for 
you know, the, 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 the million dollar S-robes. No, the Torah says be normal. It's always be normal. When you have extra time and extra money, use it to enjoy yourself. For yourself, not for God. God is happy with Haroah Cham Tuvasa. If you happen to be passing by on that Wednesday morning, you say it. Whether you say it until Chatzos, he says technically you can say the bracha, but don't make yourself crazy about these things. You have more time. Use it for yourself to enjoy life more. That's the message I have to impart. Hope you, hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.